Hello, Les from Thailand here and this video is going to be about my budget trip to Bangkok. Um, there are some brilliant bargains to be had no matter where you are in Thailand at the minute because tourists aren't allowed to come over here in Thailand so therefore the hotels have slashed the prices, slashed the costs of everything to get the local people who are living here, the expats and that, to come and visit their hotels or their areas. Now we had to go to Bangkok to do some shopping anyway, so I searched around the internet and I found a, a beautiful hotel, very reasonably priced. So if you watch the video, you'll see the, the hotel that we stayed. So after the video, I'll go through the cost of staying at this hotel, the Sentara Hotel in Bangkok, and I'll give you some information about the shopping, why we went to Bangkok. Um, I my wife is doing some shopping for some clothes because she's just opened up a, a clothes stall and I wanted to go to the um, computer place because I wanted my laptop updating. So I don't know anything and everything about computers so I have to trust the people in the store to be able to, to put my computer right. Uh, now I do a lot of video e editing obviously for YouTube on my laptop and I found that it was slow and it wasn't working very well even though there was a terabyte of storage space there the computer just got slower and slower so I did a little bit of research what I thought I needed to be able to make my laptop um, go faster so after the video I'll give you the information of what I actually bought in the Pantip computer shop and what they did and now my laptop is like on steroids it's super fast it's brilliant and it didn't cost an awful lot so enjoy the video come back after the video and i'll tell you about the best shopping area in bangkok for cheap clothes and also my experience of upgrading my laptop computer so enjoy the video see you in a bit Thank you for coming back and I hope you enjoyed the, the um, video on the hotel, the Centara Hotel in near Platinum Shopping Mall. A 17 minute walk to the Paragon and it was a 5 minute walk to Platinum Market and Prathenham Market which is also a 5 minutes walk from the hotel. Now my wife went shopping there and we were there for two days, I never seen her for for two days she just spent so much time going down to all the, the the stalls it was incredible now I'm a gadget person and I loved around the gadgets you will see some pictures of the of the place that I went to I went to Central Festival and I went to the Paragon shopping center 
and I looked at my gadgets because I wasn't interested in looking at clothes and on my second day I went to the Pantip computer place now I was shocked um, as to how empty the Pan Pantip computer place was it's a big big store but there's plenty of empty shops now maybe it's the result of this COVID-19 going on and no customers but um, the shop that I went to is the GIB computer shop in Pantip uh, Plaza and the guy could speak fairly good English I explained to him what I was doing and what was wrong with my computer and my laptop is only just over a year old so it's a fairly modern laptop but I felt it wasn't going fast enough and so the guy at GIB recommended two improvements for me and it was to improve the RAM now the RAM that was in there was eight uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and he suggested to upgrade it to 16 gigabyte in RAM but when he took the back off it was four gigabyte in the computer and four gigabyte RAM so he could put another eight gigabyte RAM onto it which made it a total of 12 gigabyte now this is all news to me no idea but I understand the more RAM the faster the faster the computer works so that's what he did and my storage was a, a one terabyte hard drive and I used to store my files onto that and I used to have a second hard drive which I used to delete or move over the files from my laptop over to the storage but to improve that he suggested that I put a SSD solid state drive as a replacement to my hard drive um, because he said the SSD is much faster now it was one terabyte of storage and originally he tried to sell me a 250 gigabyte story and um, but I knew that was going to be too small so I upgraded to the 500 gigabyte SSD card and the total cost of that was 4150 baht that was for the two upgrades of my laptop computer and now my laptop computer is super fast it works I'm so so the two items that improved my um, laptop came to a cost of 4150 baht not an expensive upgrade I thought for the for the extra speed that I got and because they took the one terabyte hard drive out of my computer you can buy a little case and the, the hard drive sits within that case and then you've got another storage storage facility storage drive another terabyte so now I've got two terabyte of storage and a 500 gigabyte storage with the SSD card I'm more than happy with the results of the GIB store and there's, there's a two-year guarantee with the SSD card and a two-year guarantee for the case that covers their um, hard drive which they give me so my shopping was successful I managed to get what I wanted to get I looked around the gadget shops and the hotel the hotel cost for one night without breakfast in the Centara was reduced from 3,000 baht a night down to 1,000 baht a night so we stayed two nights in the in the Centara hotel in Bangkok and total cost 2,000 baht beautiful rooms beautiful service very comfortable beds can't complain about it at all it's it was very 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 luxurious and very very nice um, we, we had a, a meal in the hotel on the the second night and again very reasonably priced 160 baht plus their taxes and plus their VAT so for two of us to have a meal without drinks at the hotel was just over 400 baht so very reasonable for Bangkok prices I thought now I thought the breakfast were a little bit overpriced we did ask how much it would cost for us to go for breakfast although it was a buffet breakfast and the hotel wasn't very full uh, they were still going to charge 380 baht per person for breakfast now that's a lot of money in my book so for two breakfasts you could stay there for another night almost so we declined to have the breakfast and we went out and had brunch um, the following day so that saved us money to get to the Centara was a bit of a, a nightmare because we drove our car to, to Bangkok and driving around Bangkok 
isn't the best place to, to do to drive around anyway but we had the the um, Google Maps and it took us down some very very thin soils and we got to the hotel and the gate that was going into the hotel was closed so we had to go back out to the main Succumbit Road and because there was a bus lane and an arrow says don't turn left don't turn left we had to do a, a u-turn and do the same trip again back on the second bit turn right go around the loop again to get us back to the same position that we had before so we ended up going and turning left onto the bus lane and 200 yards down the road from the bus lane was the entrance to the hotel so that was my only complaint about the Centara was it's actually quite difficult to get there if you're driving there but being right in the centre of Bangkok beautiful location and no complaints so visit the Centara in Bangkok you won't be disappointed and there are many good deals to be had now in Bangkok in the hotels and I think that's going to be the same no matter where you are in Thailand now because tourism isn't going to come back this year I don't think I think it'll be early next year before it starts back up again so there are many bargains to be had just look through all the the, the booking.com and the Agoda so from Les living the dream still in Thailand till the next time bye for now